In this video, we're going to focus on factoring cubic polynomials. So let's get started right away. Let's say if we have the expression x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 10. Now the first thing you want to look at is to see if you can use a method called factoring by grouping. Notice that the first two coefficients has the same ratio as the last two. For example, 2 divided by 1 is 2, negative 10 divided by negative 5 is also 2. So that tells us that we can factor by grouping. So in the first two terms, take out the GCF, the greatest common factor, which is x squared. x cubed divided by x squared is equal to x. And 2x squared divided by x squared is equal to 2. Now, in the last two terms, let's take out the greatest common factor, which is negative 5. Negative 5x divided by negative 5 is x. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is 2. So now we can take out x plus 2. If we remove x plus 2 from the first term, we're going to have x squared left over. And if we take out x squared, I mean x plus 2 in the second term, we're going to have negative 5 left over. So this is the answer. That's how you can factor cubic polynomials. Now let's go over another example. Let's try this one. 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 6x minus 12. So what is the greatest common factor in the first two terms? We can take out a 4x squared. And we're going to have x minus 2 left over. Now what about the last two? What can we take out? It turns out that we can take out a 6. And we're going to have x minus 2. So it's going to be x minus 2 times these two, or 4x squared plus 6. Now both of these numbers are even. So we can take out a 2 from 4x squared plus 6. So it's going to be 2x squared plus 3 and then times x minus 2. So this is it. For the sake of practice, try this one. x to the third power plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. Let's find out if we can factor by grouping. 3 over 1 is equal to negative 12 divided by 4. They both equal 3. So we can use the method. Now let's take out the GCF. The greatest common factor between x cubed and 3x squared is x squared. And we're going to have uh, x plus 3 left over. Now in the last two, we can take out a negative 4. Negative 4x divided by negative 4 is x. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is 3. Now, let's factor the GCF, which is x plus 3 now. And so we're going to have x squared minus 4 left over. But notice that we're not finished. We can factor x squared minus 4 using the difference of squares technique. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is 2. One will be positive and the other will be negative. So this is going to be the final answer x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now what about this example? How can we factor this particular cubic polynomial? Notice that we can't use the factoring by grouping method. Negative 4 divided by 1 is not equal to 6 over 1. So what should we do in this case? Well, you want to find the possible rational zeros of the function. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6, divided by the factors of 1. So these are the possible zeros. So we've got to find out which one works. Let's plug in 1, and let's see if that's going to give us 0.
1 to the third is simply 1. This is going to be negative 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 1 plus 6 is 7. This does not equal 0. So 1 is not one of the answers. Let's try negative 1. Negative 1 to the third is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is simply 1. And 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. And this is negative 5 minus 7, which is negative 12. So this is not going to work. Let's try 2. So we're going to have 2 to the third power minus 4 times 2 squared plus 2 plus 6. 2 to the third, that's 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. 2 squared, or 2 times 2 is 4. 2 plus 6 is 8. And 4 times 4 is 16. 8 minus 16 is negative 8, plus 8. This adds to 0. So 2 is a solution to the equation. If we set this equal to 0, one of our answers is x is equal to 2. So now we're going to use something called synthetic division to reduce the polynomial. And let's write the coefficients. 1, negative 4, 1, and 6. So we're going to bring down the 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And then add. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. And then multiply. 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. And then add. 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And your final answer should be 0. So this is going to be 1x squared minus 2x minus 3. And since x equals 2, the factor that is associated with that answer is x minus 2. So therefore, you can factor this cubic polynomial into this expression. But we're not finished, though. There's still more work to be done. Now, can we factor this trinomial, x squared minus 2x minus 3? It turns out we can. What two numbers multiply to negative 3 but add to the middle coefficient negative 2. This is going to be negative 3 and positive 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So to factor it, it's going to be x minus 3 times x plus 1. That means negative 1 should have worked. So I must have missed that somehow. It should have worked for the syntax division. Negative 1 to the third power minus 4 times negative 1 squared minus 1 plus 6. I think I wrote negative 6 before. But this would have been negative 1 minus 4 minus 1 plus 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So if you were to use negative 1, um, it would work as well. You should get the same answer. Let's try that, though. Let's use synthetic division with negative 1. Let's see how it's going to work out. So this is going to be 1, negative 4, 1, and 6. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. Negative 1 times negative 5 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. And negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. So we do get the 0. This is going to be 1x squared minus 5x plus 6. And if x is equal to negative 1, the factor is x plus 1. Now, two numbers that multiply to 6 but add to negative 5 are negative 3 and negative 2. So this could be factored to x minus 3, x minus 2, x plus 1. So as you can see, you do get the same answer. So that is it for this video, and thanks for watching. So I hope this video has been educational for you and um, I hope you understand how to factor cubic polynomials. So always see if you can factor by grouping first. 
If not, then use the synthetic division method. And that's it. So thanks for watching again, and have a great day.